Hello and welcome. My name is Dylan and today I'm going to talk about how you can hold more bounties or more pursuits and how that whole thing works because uh, it, embarrassingly enough it took me a while to figure it out and I honestly really had no idea. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to not open up that. You're going to open up your map. When you're at your map you're going to tab over once to your quest tab. When you're in your quest tab you're going to look at the top here and it's going to show you uh, how many quests I currently have so I currently have 21 quests and how many bounties 16 now I for whatever reason because of the location of this it's not centered see I would think that it would be centered here so that it would show you that it was for both but I thought that you could hold uh, up to uh, 63 quests and then bounties I I thought you could just fill up this one page I didn't know that you could essentially hold 63 bounties if you could find that many at one time. So what it is is it's a com it's a combined number. So it it is for your quests and your bounties. So if you have a bunch of quests that you're currently not working on, you have no plans to work on for a little bit or a small gift you don't plan to use, uh, you can get those pretty easily in the Dreaming City, stuff like that. Um, you can go through your quests over here and you can get rid of some stuff to open up some more space to hold more bounties. So I just wanted to make a quick video just to show you guys how you could hold more bounties so you can earn more Bright Dust or more XP, stuff like that. And uh, just not to hold uh, quests that you're currently not working on or don't have plans to work on in the near future. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.